Semarang is the capital and largest city of central Java province in Indonesia. It has an area of 373.78 square kilometers, 144.32 square miles, and a population of approximately 1.8 million people, making it Indonesia's fifth most populous city after Jakarta, Surabaya, Bandung, and Medan. The built-up metro area had 3,183,516 inhabitants at the 2010 census spread on two cities and 26 districts. Greater Semarang aka Kedungsipur has a population of close to 6 million see Greater Semarang section, and is located at 6 degrees 58 s 110 degrees 25 e. A major port during the Dutch colonial era, and still an important regional centre and port today, the city has a dominant Javanese population. History in 1678, Sunan Amankarat II promised to give control of Semarang to the Dutch East India Company VOC as a part of a debt payment. In 1682, the Semarang state was founded by the Dutch colonial power. On 5 October 1705 after years of occupations, Semarang officially became a VOC city when Susuhunan Pakubuano I made a deal to give extensive trade rights to the VOC in exchange of wiping out Mataram's debt. The VOC, and later, the Dutch East Indies government, established tobacco plantations in the region and built roads and railroads, making Semarang an important colonial trading centre. The historic presence of a large Indo Eurasian community in the area of Semarang is also reflected by the fact a Creole mix language called Javando existed there. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Classical Indish town, 1678 to 1870. Semarang was handed by the Sultan of Mataram to the Dutch East Indies in 1678. The city was pictured as a small settlement with a pious Muslim area called Kauman, a Chinese quarter, and a Dutch fortress. The fortress has a pentagonal form with only one gate in the south and five monitoring towers to protect the Dutch settlement from rebellion actions, segregating the spaces between Dutch settlement and other areas. In fact, the city of Semarang was only referred to the Dutch Quarter while the other ethnic settlement were considered as villages outside the city boundary. The city, known as De Europeische Bert, was built in classical European style with church located in the center, wide boulevards and streets skirted by beautiful villas. According to Perwanto 2005, the urban and architectural form of this settlement is very similar to the design principles applied in many Dutch cities, which begun to concern on the urban beautification. Due to the long and costly Java War, there was not much funding from the Dutch East Indies government, which affected Semarang's development. The majority of land was used for rice fields and the only small improvement was the development of a surrounding fortress. Although less developed, Semarang has a fairly arranged city system, in which urban activities were concentrated along the river and the settlement was linked to a market where different ethnic groups met to trade. The existence of the market, in the later years, become a primary element and a generator of urban economic growth. An important influence on urban growth was the Great Mail Road project in the 1847, which connected all the cities in the northern coast of central and east Java and positioned Semarang as the trade center of agricultural production. The project was soon followed by the development of the Netherlands Indies Railway and the connecting roads into the inner city of Semarang at the end of 19th century. Colombian 2002 marked the development as the shift of urban functions, from the former river orientation to all services facing the roads. The modern city 1870 Improved communication, the result of the mail and railway projects, brought an economic boom to the city in the 1870s. There were hospitals, churches, hotels, and large houses built along new main roads, Bojongchi Weg, Pontiolsh Weg, and Mataram Street, densified population in the ethnic settlements and created the urban kampong village. Urban growth densified the urban kampong, reaching 1,000 inhabitants per hectare and degrading the quality of living conditions. In the early 20th century, mortality rate were high due to the overcrowding and lack of hygiene that triggered cholera and tuberculosis outbreaks. 
Cobbin 1993 noted the ethical movement of Kampongverbettering led by Henry Tillema in 1913 and the concern of the advisor for decentralization for Kampong improvement through the betterment of public toilets, drainage, and the planning of public housing. In 1917, a healthy housing project was implemented in the southern part of Semarang called Candy Baru. Thomas Karsten, the advisor for city planning, transformed the concept of ethnic segregation that divided previous urban settlements into a new housing district plan based on economic classes. Although practically the three ethnic groups were also divided into three economic classes where the Dutch and rich Chinese occupied the largest lots in the housing district, Karsten had effectively emerged the developed district by integrating the road network, introducing newly improved public washing and bathing, squares and sporting facilities that could be used communally. Following the Candy Baru, there were three other housing plans between 1916 to 1919 to accommodate a 55% population increase in Semarang, 45,000 Javanese, 8,500 Chinese and 7,000 Europeans. Karsten marked a new approach to town planning with emphasis on the aesthetic, practical and social requirements, articulated not in terms of race but economic zones, driven by economic growth and spatial city planning. The city had doubled in size and expanded to the south by the 1920s, creating a nucleus of a metropolis where multi-ethnic groups lived and traded in the city. The villages in the suburbs such as Jombling and Jatingala steadily became the satellite towns of Semarang, more populated with a bigger market area. Before the invasion of Japan in 1942, Semarang had already become the capital of central Java province, as the result of trade and industrial success and spatial planning. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese occupation and early independence the Japanese military occupied the city, along with the rest of Java, in 1942, during the Pacific War of World War II. During that time, Semarang was headed by a military governor called Ashika, and two vice governors known as Fukushika. One of the vice governors was appointed from Japan, and the other was chosen from the local population. After Indonesian independence in 1945, Semarang became the capital of central Java province. Geography Semarang is located on the northern coast of Java. Climate Semarang features a tropical rainforest climate that borders on a tropical monsoon climate the city features distinctly wetter and drier months, with June through August being the driest months. However, in none of these months does average precipitation fall below 60 mm, hence the tropical rainforest categorization. Semarang on average sees approximately 2,800 mm of rain annually. Average temperatures in the city are relatively consistent, hovering around 28 degrees Celsius. Demography The dominant Semarang ethnic is Javanese, followed by minorities of Chinese, India, Arab, and others including local ethnics such as Sundanese, Batak, Madura, etc. The majority religion adopted is Islam. Semarang has a large Chinese community. As in other regions of Java, especially in central Java, they have mingled closely with the local population and use Javanese in communication for hundreds of years. About 4-5% of the city's population is ethnic Chinese, many residing in a Chinatown in the vicinity of Gang Pingar. The Chinatown is called Kampong Pechinan Semui and expresses many aspects of traditional Chinese culture including foods, rituals, and houses of worship. Economy as the capital city of central Java, and fifth largest city of Indonesia, economy of Semarang is quite large. Semarang has transformed and changed dynamically towards a better direction. In a period of less than 10 years, Semarang Metropolitan continues to build a vital financial contribution to Indonesia due to the growing trade and industry and services. 
As a consequence, people's purchasing power increased, capital inflows, consumer confidence and doing business indexes were relatively conducive to the development of several central business districts such as Simpang Lima City Center SLCC, Pemuda Central Business District PCBD, and Gajamada Golden Triangle GGT. Topic: Transport. Topic: Topic: Air. Topic: Semarang's General Ahmed Yani International Airport is served by a number of operators, including AirAsia, Silk Air, Garuda Indonesia, Sriwijaya Air, and Lion Air, which provide services to Jakarta, Bali, Kuala Lumpur, and Singapore. Topic Road. Topic The primary means of public transportation is by minibus, called BIS. Semarang's largest bus terminals are Manking and Turboyo. A bus rapid transit serves Semarang, called Trans Semarang. Semarang has a toll road, the Semarang Toll Road. The Semarang Solo Toll Road is under construction. Semarang is on Indonesian National Route 1 that connects it to Merak and Ketapang. Banyuwangi. Indonesian National Route 14 toward Bawan starts here. Rail Semarang was connected to Surakarta by a rail line in 1870. At present there are two large train stations in Semarang, Semarang Pongkal and Semarang Tawang. Semarang is connected to Bandung, Jakarta, and Surabaya by intercity train services. C Topic The main seaport is the Tanjung Ma Seaport. Topic Semarang River and Flood Control. Topic Like Singapore River, Semarang is constructing Semarang River at Banjir Canal Barat Garang River near Karangayu Bridge. In the middle of July 2011, gardens in river banks and some traditional boats are available to use. The project will be finished in 2013 with river gardens, trotors, garden lighting, water activities, art sites, sports sites and balconies and stairs for sightseeing. In August 2011, a 421-metres tunnel dodger at Creo River has been finished and Jatibarang Dam construction can begin, with completion targeted for July 2013. The dam is planned to ease 230 cubic metres 8,100 cu feet per second of flood water and will generate 1.5 megawatts of electricity, provide a drinking water resource and a boost to tourism. Sites and landmarks Topic Topic Tugu Muda Topic Tugu Muda English Young Monument is a monument built to commemorate the services of the heroes who have fallen in the battle of 5 days in Semarang The height of Tugu Muda is 53 meters Tugu Muda is located in front of Lawing Sewu at Pemuda Street. It depicts the Tugu Muda fighting spirit and patriotism of Semarang residents, especially the youth who are persistent, self-sacrificing in high spirits maintaining the independence of Indonesia. The laying of the first stone took place on 28 October 1945, by Mr. of Central Java, at the originally planned location as near the square. Topic. Temples Topic. The Sam Pu Kong Temple is the oldest Chinese temple in the city. Topic. Education Topic. There are 593 elementary schools, 220 junior high schools, 106 senior high schools, and 88 vocational high schools, both public and private in Semarang. There are 20 universities in Semarang, 12 of them private and 8 public. The most renowned universities of Semarang are Diponegoro University and Sogajapranata University. Dipenagoro University UNDIP, it is one of national or state-owned universities in Semarang, founded in 1956. 
The university has 11 faculties, Faculty of Economics and Business, Faculty of Social and Political Sciences, Faculty of Humanities, Faculty of Law, Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Fishery and Marine Sciences, Faculty of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, Faculty of Public Health, Faculty of Animal Agriculture, and Faculty of Psychology. The university also offers a postgraduate program. Sogidjapranada Catholic University, Unica, it is one of the private universities in Semarang, founded in 1982. There are eight faculties in Unica, Faculty of Architecture and Design, Faculty of Law and Communication, Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Language and Arts, Faculty of Economics and Business, Faculty of Agricultural and Technology, Faculty of Psychology, and Faculty of Computer Science. Sport centers Topic. There are several sport centers in Semarang. Jadadiri Sports Center or Jadadiri Stadium is one of the biggest sports centers in Semarang, located in Karangreo, Gajamunkar. The center comprises a soccer field, in-line skate track, tennis field, climbing wall, swimming pool, and many others. The capacity of the center is about 21.000 people. Knight Stadium is a futsal and basketball center in Semarang, located in Grand Marina Complex. There is a cafe and fitness center in Knight Stadium. Culture Food Semarang is widely known for its bandang presto, pressure cooked milkfish, lumpia, winko, tahu gimbal, and ganjal rel. Semarang has also been called the city of Jammu because it is an important center for the production of Jammu, which are a wide range of Indonesian herbal medicines that are very popular across Indonesia. Topic: <laughs> Festivals. Topic: Dugdaran is an annual festival in Semarang desecrated to welcome the Ramadan month, a fasting month for Muslims. The word dug describes the sound of bedug, traditional Indonesian musical instrument. The word dur describes the sound of fireworks. The icon of the festival is a special puppet dragon-like animal called Warak Jendog. The word Warak stands for holy, and the word Jendog expresses a reward for Muslims. Warak Jendog's feet are chained, representing people's desire that should be postponed during this holy month. As Dugdaran is a festival unique for Semarang, it represents an important attraction for both local and non-residential people. <laughs> Adipura Award Semarang has got Adipura Award for six times in a row since 2012. Adipura Award is given for achievement in cleanliness and greenery at parks, streets, markets, shop buildings, premises, schools, even cleanliness of waterways and rivers. <laughs> Greater Semarang Greater Semarang was initially defined by the government as Semarang, Semarang Regency, the newly carved Salatiga City, Kendal Regency, and Damak Regency. Despite the definition, this includes a lot of rural areas and the urban cores remain distinct, they have not amalgamated into a characterless metro area as in Greater Jakarta. Sources, BPS Jateng Notable people born in Semarang Agong Laksano, politician and former chairman of the House of Representatives. Anindya Kusuma Putri, Putri Indonesia 2015 and Top 15 of Miss Universe 2015. Anna Vanti, fashion designer. Conrad Emil Lambert Helfrich, Dutch admiral. Daniel Sahulika, Dutch musician. Fuad Hassan, politician, former Minister of Education and Culture. Hubertus van Mook, Dutch politician. Leem Bwantjie, architect. Oi Tiong Ham, Chinese Indonesian tycoon. P. F. Dollar, politician, member of Investigating Committee for Preparatory Work for Independence. 
Pernomo Yusgiantoro, politician and current Minister of Defense. Raiden Sala, painter. Rob Nuwanhuis, literary historian and author. Sudayoso, Chief of Indonesian Intelligence Bureau Bin. Tukul Arwana, comedian and television personality. Willem Einthoven, medical doctor, invented electrocardiography ECG, Nobel Prize winner. Stella Cornelia, singer and actress, ex-member of JKT48. Max van Egmond, bass and baritone singer of Baroque and Renaissance music. Topic: <laughs> Sister cities. Topic: Semarang is twinned with Brisbane, Australia. Da Nang, Vietnam. Palu, Indonesia. Topic. References. Topic. Groff, H. J. De Hermanus Johannes, 1899. Chinese Muslims in Java in the 15th and 16th centuries. The Malay Annals of Semarang and Serban, translated and provided with comments by H. J. De Groff and T. H. G. T. H. Pigo, edited by M. C. Rickliffs. Publisher, Melbourne, Monash University, 1984. Description, XIII, 221p, folded map, 21 cm. ISBN 0-86746-419-4, Series, Monash Papers on Southeast Asia, No. 12 Topic. External links Topic. Official website in Indonesian Semarang Travel Guide from Wikivoyage Official website in Indonesian